What's up everybody? Ito San here. And finally I'm gonna do a build video of the DJI 450. This is gonna be in, let's say, aftermarket build. Because uh, I'm gonna use, of course, a clone uh, frame, which is this one you see. And I'm gonna show you all the parts now. And I'm gonna put um, like a regular PDB I use on a 5 inch quad and an omnibus um, uh, with an F4 um, processor. And I'm gonna use this Raystar's 2212 motors, uh, 1000 kV. So this is gonna be a pretty cheap build and uh, it's the first time I do that I'm probably gonna install um, INAV flight on the on the flight controller and let's see how it works I'm totally noob about this uh, I love to build it's the best part of this hobby for me um, so I kind of soft mounted the motors here because I guess these motors give pretty strong vibrations and as you can see here I already mounted one I mounted it on a motor guard I'm gonna time-lapse this whole video of course Hope you like the music I put. I loved it. So we got the forearms here. And I had to buy this soft mount flight controller uh, mount. And because otherwise I didn't know how to, I didn't want to glue the flight controller to the plate. So I bought this one. And then we're gonna see because this is gonna be mounted uh, diagonally so we're gonna change this setting on beta flight because otherwise the gyro won't work properly so this rubber mounts are pretty a pain to mount in but a little bit of patience I got. And as you can see, it stabilizes the flight controller, so the, the gyroscope. So here I was using an F3 SP Racing, which is a super prehistoric flight controller. Uh, I had a faulted 4-in-1 ESC. But I repaired it pretty quick. And I also put on the ESC because in a 5 inch quad I blew up a 4 in 1 ESC such as this one and I also burned the flight controller. So I had this plate from Raystars, I couldn't mount on the 5 inch quad because I didn't have space, so I'm gonna use it here. And it's an aluminium plate that prevents... It should dissipate too, I don't know how, but... Uh, it should also prevent explosions of the MOF sets to burn other things. So here I'm still sorting out how to make things work and I'm putting the, the ESC centrally just with hot glue because I didn't want to make holes in the plate. Maybe I will later but right now I'm figuring it out and the hot glue seems to be pretty strong actually. Yeah, pretty strong. So what I will do is I will put the PDB, I'm using a PDB despite I'm using a 4-in-1 ESC because I want 
12 and 5 volts regulators and by that time I had when I was doing this a few days ago I had this SB Racing F3 which didn't have any any 5 volts output and so I still don't know how I'm gonna use this so I wanted to put that PDB on the, on the belt as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the flight controller, the, the ESC and the PDB on the lower plate and then the flight controller as you can see here, this is the top plate. I'm gonna put it on the top plate but facing downwards. I don't want it to stick it out of the quad. Uh, I, I want it to be as protective as possible. Then I'm gonna flip. We'll have to flip it on better flight as well. See, with this adapter, with this soft mount, I can mount it on the top plate. It's very cheap. All the, all the products I'm using, all the parts I'm using here are in the description. I'm also going to write how much the build totally costed. So I'm figuring out here that because the stack will be too tall, I'm going to do this, this setting here. I've never seen it. I'm just trying new things here. And I'm not using the pads, the soldering pads on the, on the, on the plate. I'm using my own PDB. So what I'm what I'm doing here is I cut some silicon for AWG uh, cables, and I'm actually connecting the four-in-one ESC to the PDB. <clears throat> using the hot glue gland using the hot glue again here it worked before so let's give it a try let's see how it ends up I know that looks very messy very messy there you go Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fix the arms to the bottom plate. Signs you see it's because on the plate it's because I mounted the uh, the 4-in-1 ESC on the wrong side of the plate, so I <laughs> remounted on the other side. There we go. Now we're stripping our cables and we're wiring the motors to the to the ESCs. I used the um, I used the 4-in-1 ESC because it felt like 
it was more protected. The ESC were more protected, and uh, I usually like the single ESC best because in case one burns you can replace it and it won't destroy the others and so on but in this case on this quadcopter it won't be a high performance quadcopter so I don't think the ESC it's gonna be pushed so much plus it's a 35 amps ESC and these motors don't pull so many amps so I think it will be fine and I like it better inside the plate inside the frame so it'll be as I said more protected and safer so I had to strip longer cables protect them with uh, protective joints with some heat shrink then twist them and put them twist them around the the arms also then I'm gonna put some zip ties so that they won't fly anywhere and they won't get stuck in branches if I hit a tree or something and there we go Boom. now I'm gonna put the mount the legs to do this I have to unscrew the arms again but I needed to screw them in to strip the cables and there we go with the legs we still have to solder the, the cables to the ESC that's pretty much it looks pretty good to me seems pretty protected and pretty clean of course not counting the hot glue that's that's not clean but who cares though? Let's move closer and speed up it a little bit. Pre thin, pre thin the, the ESC, cut the cables. Actually, I'm leaving them pretty loose. So if I do something wrong, I'm gonna have to redo everything. This is not too fast, but I didn't want to make it too long. This is gonna be a pretty long video though, anyway. But I don't want it, I didn't want to make it too long, so I sped it up pretty much. I I think you can understand what I'm doing though. Oh god, do I love soldering? Soldering my, is my favorite part of, of this whole hobby. <laughs> of course, also make it fly. So what we're doing here, we're pretending the cables, the Fortin Gadgets cables, which will power up the, the PDB, that will power up the ESC, that will make everything work. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm soldering it to the PDB and then we'll add an XT60 connector. This is about to finish guys. The, so we've done everything hard, almost everything hardware. Uh, as I told you, um, by this time I had the F3 SP Racing flight controller because I wanted to make it cheap, but I found out it sucks. And so I ordered an Omnibus F4 and I hope it's about to arrive so second part of the video will be uh, mounting the, the flight controller and the gimbal for camera stabilization and controlling and then so the second video will be shorter and then the third video will be about software and setting up INF flight on this on this quadcopter I guess it will be pretty funny so I hope you stick in for the second video as well Thank you guys for watching and supporting. Uh, consider subscribing, it helps a lot and it pumps my morale. <laughs> so thanks again guys and happy flying.